Hey guys, welcome to a new week! So this morning I'm trying a new soap recipe. I'm just trying different ratios and different oils. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm making like a very very tiny batch so that I don't waste ingredients if it doesn't turn out. I'm doing what I do when I need to unplug. This is last day of vacation and I still have not recorded anything. So I'm doing that now. But you should see me! This is like a really hard song to record. So I'm gonna film a little bit of <laughs> the dance that I do in order to reach the right notes. Pour puiser aux sources pures, pour avoir entier pardon, prends la seule route sûre. I am making chili sauce with the jalapenos, and I'm pretty excited by how it looks right now. Just like the color that you'd get when you buy it at the store. It's not quite the consistency yet, but I have my cornstarch mixture here ready to go in. Oh my guacamole, I just tasted it. Too bad you guys didn't see my reaction. I was like, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is spicy, but it's good. Like, just because I ate it on its own, it's a little strong, but it's really good. All right, now Randy's turn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. The kick comes in after, eh? It does, yeah. But it's so good. It's perfect, mm. like, sweetness and spiciness. Oh, yes. I would definitely give it a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that physiotherapy mm. could be so much fun? <laughs> I'm going to show you my... It's not a new exercise. It's the same one that I did <laughs> before. <laughs> Except, the thing is that when I used to do it the way I did it, it hurts my ribs when I do it that way. But I have to go fast. But the physio told me uh, the distance doesn't matter as long as you go fast. And as long as you keep your eyes fixed on this target and that the background behind the target is moving. So this is how we have remedied to the situation. One. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> and everything goes a spinning and a shaking. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I unmolded my soap and I wanted to show you the color that it turned out. It's like, okay, let me show you typical color. Typical color is like this yellowish, and now it's kind of like a rosy, almost like as if I had pulled, put uh, pink clay in it. But there's no clay in this. It's made with the vegetable oil. And they smell the same. They smell just as good as the other ones. Now the ultimate test will be the pH, which I will test on Friday. Uh, if I test it now, it's probably still too high anyway, so there's no point in testing that now. So I've got these anchors that I need to take out from where the shelf was. This little plastic thingy. So first step is I'm going to put in a big screw back in it because the other ones are really small screws. About to here. And then I'm going to yank this out with pliers. There we go. Now it's out, but there's always this problem that the screw is stuck in it. Now put the drill on reverse and rescue the screw. out of its prison. We are selling our uh, Bose speaker that was hanging on the living room wall. So it was like on a little shelf and so it, now that I took out the shelf there's two little screw holes. So we had this Dina Patch Pro that was just like a little leftover super dry and so I am reviving it with water. <laughs> I just put water in it and now I am mixing it up so that it will become smooth again and I can use it to patch. Kind of reminds me of 
how we are all dried up when we don't know Jesus and then Jesus comes into our lives if we allow him and receive him he revives us with his living water and that's exactly what's happening with this patching dried up gunk okay and now that I have imperfectly repatched it because I don't have the right tools I'm going to imperfectly paint it because I remember when we moved in and tried to retouch some of the, some of the paint well that's the one that says living room on it but when you paint it it doesn't end up being the same finish. Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> we just went to the church garden for the garden tea and now we've got some garden produce. Got sweet peas, Swiss chard, two kinds of kale, and there's some herbs, so we got some parsley and basil and some little tomatoes. Mmm! Sweet peas! Sweet peas are made of these! Isn't it true that in life, we all like to just rush, rush, rush. We're always in a hurry. And we're so focused on getting to the destination, but we don't allow ourselves to, to be present in the process. Just as when working out, when one wants to build muscle, it takes time. You know, you need to go slow. And when you're in such a hurry, you miss out, you know, and you don't end up gaining. In fact, you end up losing. Spiritually speaking, if we're always in a hurry, then we're going to miss out on what God wants for us. It's a process. Our lives are under construction. And God is doing an amazing work in our lives. Each day, He is molding shaping you more and more into his likeness let us not always be in a rush but let us be present in the process to be a amazed what god has done what god is doing and what god will continue to do for his honor and for his glory That's a lot of farts. <laughs> That's a lot of cash. Hope he has a hazmat suit. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. hey. We are at my aunt and uncle's place. So yeah. let me introduce you to my aunt Monique. Hi. Hello. And uncle Elliot. <laughs> Just hanging out here. Yeah. We will see you guys next week. Yep. And until then, remember to laugh hard and to love much. We. Oui.